favorite time of the episode for most of you angry people out there angry listeners it's rudy's rant and i'm actually excited to hear what he's going to talk about i'm not going to act like i'm shocked because i know what's coming but um yeah it's going to be interesting come on rudy i am tired of the haters i am tired not of me you can hate me all day i don't give a fuck i'm tired of the haters that are hating on caitlin clark and it seems like it doesn't stop from diana tarasi to brianna stewart to all these female basketball players who are in the WNBA who have something to say to find a way to try try to dismiss her skills and dismiss her ability and dismiss her accomplishments, it's absolutely exhausting. I I don't get why a woman who is going to save your – I'm not going to say save your sport, but she's the closest thing to someone that who can save your sport. You better pray to God that she's great in the WNBA because if she's not – it's going to be an outright disaster for the league. The hype behind these other players in college basketball, let's be real. Angel Reese is not a good basketball player. She's not. She can rebound and she can play defense. All-around game, no one's watching the WNBA to watch her play. All the things that came out in the past two years in reference to Angel Reese were, were typically based off negative things that happened. They were not based on her game. Did you ever see a highlight where you say, oh, my God, Angel Reese, amazing? No, nobody cared. You knew about her taunting after the championship. If she had not done that, nobody would have talked about her after that championship game, realistically. The taunting, then she got suspended. Then it's the twerking on TikTok. Then it's her doing a, showing her a video of her having her cooch waxed and then showing the world what it looks like on social media. And then her press conferences after South Carolina, when she, we're not scared of them, nonsense, what, what, what are you doing? And then finally her press conference to end her season when she's boo-hoo, boo-hoo crying. We did not get, yeah, boo-hoo, he's boo-hoo crying. No, I was going to say 20, 23 and 15, I mean, that's something. Uh, Nick, stop it. You, you're, you're, you're trolling now because no, you know, when I, you shoot the ball, when you shoot, when you shoot the ball to yourself. <laughs> You throw to the board and it comes right back to your hands because you're 6'3 and more athletic than the people that are shorter than you. And you grab a rebound and you get credit for that as an offensive rebound. She was 17 and 20 against Iowa. She had 10 offensive boards. I would bet eight of them were shots back to herself. She was 7 for 21 from the field shooting layups. Layups. She missed 14 layups. Now, who else? Let's take a thing. Juju Watkins. She's been praised all year, and she deserves it. Absolutely. Did you know she shot 40% this year from the field? I know. 40%. Criticize Caitlin Clark. She takes too many shots. Juju Watkins took the exact same amount of shots pretty much, 22.7 to 22.4. Clark shot 46%. Clark never shot lower than 46% in her career in college. Watkins is shooting 40%. She's inefficient. She doesn't average nine assists a game. She averages more, just as – she has a zero – like a one-to-one – Assist to turnover ratio. Caitlin Clark has been hated on, and it's exhausting. And I'm not taking away what Juju Watkins has done. I think she's special. I think she's going to be amazing. But she has to expand her game to make you, Nick, watch it, to make me watch it, because watching layup drills is not what I want to watch. That said, this past weekend in the Final Four, Lynette Woodard made some comments at a Final Four lunch or dinner or whatever, some event this weekend in the Final Four. This is the same woman that Caitlin Clark had at her game when she broke her record. Nick, did you know who Lynette Woodard even was? Don, did you? Example. Most people have no idea who Lynette Woodard was. I think Lynette Woodard played it with the Harlem Globetrotters at some point, um, I think. But she was at Kansas when I was a little kid, and you guys weren't even born yet. <laughs> and, and it's and and so no one knew who she was realistically. And yet, when her name is being brought up, it's honoring her. And yet, at this press, at this little lunch or dinner, or whatever it was, she says, "I don't think my record has been broken, because you can't duplicate what you're not duplicating." 
So unless you come with a men's basketball and a two-point shot, you know, but just for you so you under, you can understand, so you can help me spread the word. What kind of hating-ass bullshit is that? Why are you so fucking salty? Why are you so mad? Nobody cared about your freaking butt before Caitlin Clark came along. No one acknowledged you. No one even knew who you were realistically. There are people that, of course, there are people that knew her. Sure. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of this of the public had no idea who she was. And she's sitting here at the final four where this young woman's playing and you're talking shit about her. You can say she didn't talk shit about her. That's 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 salty, sideways shit talking about some. You ain't breaking my record. Yeah, she did. And she did it making much harder shots than, than you did. She did. And keep it real, a little bit better competition. I mean, we don't we don't go Way crazy better. about, you know, but it, it's definitely better competition now. Exactly. It's like saying, you know, women's basketball in the 80s was, <laughs> I don't think Cheryl Miller's winning 100 points on someone right now. Like, maybe in high school. They but, say Cheryl <laughs> had that game. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's just not, it, I just think it's so unnecessary when you're trying to build a sport, you need her to be successful. You need it. Like, forget the bullshit. They need her to be great. Because before her, it was Sabrina Ionescu. They thought Sabrina was in the rings. You know, man, no one cares about Sabrina Ionescu. Nobody cares. The most we've cared about her is watching her shooting against that. How many, and how many New York Liberty games did you see in the last two years? I think the last person that probably got, like, a little bit of hype, like, that brought people there was probably Candace Parker, just because... She looked good, and yeah, then she played it good. Helped. It helped. It, it definitely helped. But her, but her skills was a one. But her skills are not. They don't generate male interest. No, 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 no. Like we, what we talked about earlier. Her game to Angel Reese. Just she makes those shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, she's way better than Angel Reese. Yeah, like not even close. But she makes those layups. Like mm -hmm. she. She's even, she's way, I think she's even more athletic there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I remember Shamiqua Holds Claw when I was, when I was younger. And, and I mean, there were players that were really incredible back in the day, but no one ever had this type of hype. It's because what she does, they can't do. I'm not watching freaking women's basketball to watch layups because they can't dunk. You said they should lower the rim to nine feet, nine and a quarter. Surprised you haven't been crucified yet by the by the women's congregation of America for sexism. <laughs> I agree with you. They should. But if you can't dunk, guess what? I want I want to see you drop some freaking 25 foot threes. Yeah. I want to see you <laughs> dribble around the ball and make Haley Van Lith go in a circle and like hey. <laughs> that's that that's the stuff that Steph Curry does to grown men. Ba 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 ba. Whoop. Oh, there you are. Oops. Last night he had a three at the top of the key. He was so wide open. I was like, they just gave him a free throw. That's what changed the game on the men's side was everybody were in tune with the dunking and things of that nature. But when he came back with the distance shooting, that like, like that distance shooting that like and that that Caitlin also have what I call it parking lot defense that you need for her. Like as soon as she come in the parking lot, you need to be covering her. If she goes to the bathroom, you need to go there and and wipe for her. Um, so that's, this is where that's where I'm, that's the difference. So this is where it becomes sad. They make these comments and then they run back and have to like apologize, mm -hmm. right? Because they're getting crucified for what they said. And you know what? If you feel something, that's where I think you're pathetic. Because why well, you apologize? I think you believe what you the said. Outra the outrage. Don't, don't 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 apologize. What are you apologizing for? The outrage. Fuck the outrage. You were nobody before. You're still <laughs> nobody now. You, she wrote, to clarify my, my remarks made at an award ceremony on Saturday, no one respects Caitlin Clark's accomplishments more than I do. This is why I accepted Iowa's invitation to participate in Caitlin's senior day. My message was a lot has changed on and off the court, which makes it difficult to compare statistical accomplishments from different eras. Each is a snapshot in time. Caitlin holds the scoring record. I salute her and will be cheering for her throughout the rest of her career. Really? That's not what you said. Don't run it back. I can't stand it when you run a run it back. If you believe something, stick to it. Because first of all, you, it's salty as shit, but 
you're now running it back. That's pathetic. So, and I don't believe it because I don't. I, I, I'm. It just it's tiresome. I think Caitlin Clark is going to be a sensational player in the WNBA. And the difference between the WNBA and college basketball is if they double team or what's going to happen. She's got players to pass the ball to who are going to make buckets to get them layups. You can't double team her 28 feet from the rim. Can you? You no. could. You'll you could. smoke your ass with fucking backdoor passes and get women layups. Mm-hmm. And they'll make them. She'll have athletes. Kelsey Mitchell is an athlete. Aaliyah Boston is a great player. Those are her teammates next year. Or, hell, three months from now, I think. So, yeah, I'm sick and tired of listening to this fucking hate for this woman. Uh, all these broads, all these women who talk shit about her, they're all going to get a fucking rude awakening in a couple of months. Because she's going to be the rookie of the year. She's an average 20-plus a game. Hell, she might lead the league in scoring. The, 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 the leading scorer last year was 24 a game. She may lead the leading scorer. It wouldn't shock me. Would it shock mm. you? No. No. And, and, and the girl who was cheering against her last on, on Sunday afternoon? To be her best friend, Leah Boston. Clapping it up. Let's go. Give me layups. I'm, I'm averaging 20 a game because you're giving me layups. <laughs> So all that, they're going to find out real fast. Now, I do think she has things to work on. Absolutely. And she has, needs to play better defense. But Steph Curry don't play an ounce of defense. Hey, hey, hey. hey. He ounce. tries. He tries. He tries. Yeah. He's not, not that bad. Good. He's not that bad. He does make dumb fouls, but. Yeah. But uh, that's all I got, man. Cool. Cool. Come on. Come on. Now. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.